This is the second part to a two-part video. Uh, in the first part I obviously did the front of the hedge and in this video I will be uh, mainly concentrating on the top part of the hedge. I'll link the first video here in case you missed it. I apologise for the uh, fast movement of the camera on the early part of this video. The camera is attached to my visor and the early part of this video I'm working pretty much on the path and I'm constantly checking if uh, people are walking around. So uh, yeah, I do apologise about that but I'm just trying to keep the public safe. Normally with this hedge, uh, the way I cut it over the last four or five years is I will do the entire top of the hedge from the inside of the garden. Uh, that means me leaning across with the uh, extension pole on the combi and basically leaning right across and last year I found I really struggled I really struggled to just get the last sort of two foot of the hedge I can reach across across pretty well but I just really struggled that last sort of two foot or so and so this year I decided I would go round uh, on the outside of the property and just knock off sort of two or three foot uh, off of the hedge this side first this hedge is quite deceiving how wide it actually is. There actually are two different hedges here um, which butt up together. The hedge from the inside of the garden is totally different to the one outside of the garden. Um, it just basically are two hedges running alongside each other. So although I did manage to cut the hedge from the inside of the garden last year, it was just a real, real strain on the body. I was leaning over all the time and uh, just uh, wore me out. So. I thought I would spend an afternoon wander down this side with the henchman ladder on the go and just take a couple of foot, three or four foot off this side just to make it a little bit easier when I go from the inside of the garden and, uh, and finish the hedge off. So I've got the front leg on the henchman uh, at full extension as I said before, there is like a drainage ditch where the front leg is, and that is fully extended. I've got the back legs a little bit extended just to give myself a little bit of height. I don't think I'd even attempt to do the top of this hedge from this side if I didn't have the henchman ladders. Uh, they have just made doing this job so much easier. And uh, yeah, I really, I've had them now for a couple of years. They are the eight foot henchman ladders, and I really. I couldn't be without them though, I absolutely love them. The levels on this hedge are pretty much all over the place, unfortunately, and I wouldn't say I'm, I'm totally to blame for that. Uh, there were a couple of trees in the middle of this hedge. Uh, a few years ago now, they were um, cut down. Now, because the trees were there, they uh, stunted the middle of this hedge. So there's like quite a big dip in the middle of this hedge if you stood back and looked at it. And um, yeah, the, the trees have, have been cut down now. So the hedge is starting to now level up a little bit in the middle, but there is still quite a, a big um, sort of dip in the middle. But I'd say it wasn't really my, my fault. It was more the fact that these trees were uh, stunting the, the growth of the hedge rather than me cutting it with a big dip in the middle. That's what I'm gonna say anyway. I had a comment from the previous video about maybe looking into getting a farmer to come by and cut this hedge for me with a flail and I must be honest while I'm doing the job I often think of that I often think of getting someone in to come across it with a flail I think that's really what it, it could do with I think it would you know it would do a good job on it but uh, obviously if I'm getting somebody in to cut it with a flail then I'm not going to be doing the job so uh, 
this is quite a, a decent job for me to do throughout the winter time. Um, the customers aren't in a rush for it to be done. You know, I might spend an afternoon to do this side and then come back on another time and do the other side of it. So it does give me a decent job to do throughout the winter. But yeah, there is occasional times where I look and think, yeah, I, I wish uh, I wish the, the local farmer would come by with his flail and just uh, just take a bit off of the top for me. Originally there was about 25 minutes uh, of raw footage of me cutting the top of this hedge and editing it together I have realised how boring uh, a video is when you're just cutting the top of a hedge. It is, it's, you know, I hadn't done one like this for a while, not that interesting. So I have cut the, uh, the footage down to, I don't know, around about 8 minutes or so, but there was about 25 minutes of it. Um, doesn't make for the most interesting video but um, it just completes this uh, this video so if you've made it this far well done you are pretty committed I'm pretty much done this side now. I've lent over as much as I can. Should be able to get all the other side from the inside of the garden, thankfully. So now the only job I've got to do is lug everything back that side. And then pretty much this is the only time of you, this is the only time working at this garden where I ever come round this side. I won't be back round here now until this time next year, cutting the hedge again. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Take care, be good. And I will see you next time.